alegre. No mind them. Okay. Hey. 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 of the because you were now facing Oji like okay, okay so when would no, I sing to you sing back to me? It had ended. because I'm just wondering because you don't know what to No it had ended. Oh even when it did not end, you did not know. Don't lie, don't lie. It's now. Wonder Call. Uh, it's again. Wow. Yeah, it's a short film remix. Wow. Okay, yeah. well, guys, welcome <laughs> on the show. Well, that is the remix, um, Wonder Call again, featuring Wale. And I mean, we didn't find any of them in the video. So yeah. they gave us like short movie. And that's why you know that today is Tuesday. Yes, guys, it's indeed beautiful how music can tell a beautiful story in a few minutes and leave you wanting some more. Yes, you know, we love to bring you, yeah, that excitement mm -hmm. and creativity the storytelling world has to offer as we can't go wrong with the East Flash music and movie combo. Love yes, it. true that. On that note, we say welcome and thank you for joining us right here on East Flash for Movies Tuesday. <laughs> Yes, sir. This is Roy and this is Flanners. I, I go by the name King OJ. But you can call me OJ. That's, That's what, what it is. It, it is, is what, what it is. is. Quick recap of yesterday's show on the pot. So I, we just discovered that OJ's lullaby while he was a baby was okay. that, you know, that intro. Oh! This is Roy and this is Flanners. It goes by the name King OJ. Oh, no, it's not lovely. OJ used to sing to That's, OJ. Yeah. So oh. now he's grown up and he's still singing it. But oh, it's so actually darling. in Spanish, not English. It's in Spanish. Should, right. I, should I? Do you want to hear it? Darling, maybe you should go back to Spain. I will. Very we need Nigerian soon. guys so on this show. How about that? Between you two. So I do not want this kind of nonsense, messy situation where a couple has, you know, problems and then they are bringing it and they are now I'm splashing no, everything we, we, we broke up on the show yesterday. We're going to be fine. We, we go up on the show yesterday. Well, guys, that is your girl, Arika, <laughs> with the Dim Post. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Someone says I should call myself Mon Kelly on live TV. I don't know how that works, but my name is Arika, and I'm the one with the dimples. <laughs> well, the same person said I should call myself Binta on the show today, but I do not really understand what that person is talking <laughs> about. I think she should. Well, but be woke, man. <laughs> All right, my name is Honey Potts. Mm. <laughs> All right, so people are wondering, like, she's keeping it simple today. Well, we start off with the entertainment news as usual. Mm -hmm. Take today's celebrity birthdays and rewind to this day in entertainment history. And of course, Erika will bring us today's dose of social media craziness on Sweetville. Later, we will chew it off. Mm -hmm. And then take the news recap. Yes, sir. And on today's Daily Top 5, we'll take a look at five Nollywood actors who are also filmmakers. Hmm, looking forward to that one. Later around, we'll tell you about the movies and the TV shows we recently watched, or we're currently watching, and wrap up with Where Are They Now? Wow. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yes. yes! You actually just wanted to catch me somewhere, but then, <laughs> by God, we're not allowed, because we are, and uh, yes, yeah, so we'll be back with today's new stories. Who wants to catch you again? My shine, oh. they can't take like my prayer. shine. You both have done it to me. I'm just singing. It said bad by like some song. Irika is taking the other way. She's doing I it like it's, sing, it's like, I, oh, you, oh, oh, Lord God, just only oh, take shine. Oh, take, it's just a song. Enjoy it. I is everything fine? Don't take it all that spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that is bad, reminding us that no one would ever, ever take his shine. That's well, right. Good to see him again. All right, guys, welcome back. And it's time for the entertainment news. <laughs> drama, drama. First story, David O's artist Lil Frush accused of alleged assault. Fast rising rapper Lil Frush, who is signed to David O's record label DMW, has been accused for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend, who is also a video vixen. Lil Frush was called out by on Instagram by Myox underscore Michael, who happens to be the brother and manager of the victim gift Camille. At Maya underscore Michael shared various photos of the injuries the assault victim sustained, alleging that Lil Frush recorded her naked and promised to share it on the internet after assaulting her. He wrote, at the cute gentleman, my client and sister has suffered enough. We have kept quiet enough at Lil Frush. You have done enough damage for almost a year now. You have been in a relationship with my sister and client and you have brought her nothing but horror, 
pain and disaster. He also talked about how the, he found out about the whole assault situation in June after she was booked for a video shoot but couldn't make an appearance because of her bruises. He continued, she has lost so many jobs because of you. She has lost so many friendships because of you. You never wanted her to be friends or even, you never wanted her to be friends or even talk to anyone. You would turn the lights off, beat her and pour her water, even record her and threatened to post it online. You broke her ring light, broke her phone, dragged her right in front of your house. I know how many times I've had to order Uber to take her home. A little froze, you're very wicked. I'm tired of trying to protect your image while you continually ruin her and break her into pieces. She called one day crying that you were going to kill her. And actually, you were truly locking her inside, preparing to beat her, not until I called her mom. You even recorded her naked, threatening to post it after beating her after beating her bro at Lil Froch, you better be ready. Following all of this accusation, Lil Froch nor his management, DMW, is yet to release any statement to counter this alleged assault re report. So this has been trending is, since yeah, like I just want to ask one yesterday. question. Are they married? They are not married. They are just in a relationship. So, why is the girl still in that relationship? I mean, but sometimes... No, not... because it is not the first time it's happening, according to what you just yeah. read to us. So I am wondering... Um, well, I saw some... When somebody wants to kill you. Even in marriage these days, they tell you that uh, if it's um, for domestic violence, you should just... Before the person kills you. So why is the girl still there? That's what baffles me. That's, I mean, that's the only thing that baffles me. Well, the honest truth is, um, a lot of people ask this question, but... I, it's hard. You love the person and you don't want to go, you don't no. want to, some things are tying you no, down. They are following you from your village or you are lapping people from your village. It's not, it's not just village. about that, only part. Um, I would say that for a lot of people, it's never that easy. And it has nothing to do with, oh, you love the person or whatever it is. I'm not saying you should stay. The ideal thing to do is to leave, to walk away from that situation. However, there, there, there are screenshots of conversations online where he, like, continued, like, when he, after um, misbehaving, he would apologize and all of that stuff, and he would keep coming back. Now, a lot of people are not smart enough to understand that there are some people that are just narcissistic, mm -hmm. um, um, narcissistic individuals or whatever. And they they just feel like, oh, this person has anger issues. Maybe if I do this way, maybe if I try to bend over backward for this person, it will understand it. I can say this because I've been there before. So it wasn't just easy for me to up and leave. A lot of people were asking, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? Well, you would leave at some point, but then you realize that even the people that are saying you should leave would still kind of like stigmatize and I don't know, it's, it's never, I can't really explain it to you until you've been in that situation. A lot of people are not very strong to wake up and say, I want to walk away. I was able to do that after the second time to say, okay, the first time I can manageably let it slide because you said you were upset or whatever it is. And it wasn't like beating, it was you shoving me. But the second one was a proper beating. And that was when I woke up and said, no, sleeping giant in me, wake up, let's move. Best say and get out of this situation. But a lot of people are emotionally weak. You don't know if she's depending on him financially. You don't know whatever it is he has against her, especially the fact that he's recorded her naked. And she said, look, this guy will post this thing online. I'm a vixen, I have an image to protect. It's wisdom. She hasn't gone to that point where, yes, it, I, I'll put it on wisdom because a lot of people don't understand that, look, I'm better off without this person. I have more to live for. A lot of people are battling with different stuff on the inside. So it's not very easy when you just up and go. Because before you get to domestic, like physical abuse, the person has abused you emotionally and the person has bullied you emotionally. So you're living in fear because you're like, this person can do and undo to me and... You don't want to lose yourself in the process. So it's not that easy. But I just feel like more people should come out to help these people and encourage them. I'm trying the little I can do, but I think more should be done. That's the honest truth. This, this Until will, you get there, you yeah. understand. No, you will I never get there. Get, <laughs> get, see, so I understand that people have different, um, you know, emotions. Like the way some people, they, they are so emotional like that. And some people are not that emotional. Mm -hmm. Because I have never even seen it happen between my parents before. So it's strange yeah. to me. So if I say that I love you, if I am at uh, cloud nine, it will, so it is not about, and I think that so many times, it's because we are saying that it's not easy, it's not easy. See, if you tell the person that, because I know, I understand what you're saying, that if you're not in somebody's shoes, uh, that's why you'll be saying something. But mm -hmm. there are so many times that only you can tell yourself the, the truth. truth yeah. And then you, 
What the point? But you have to mentally and emotionally get there yourself. If people tell you leave, 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 I've, even before my own situation, as for my for the thing that I run, my initiative that I run, I would fight for people. I would go to Allah with them and say, oh, leave, leave, leave. At the end of the day, they still go back because they're not ready. Until you wake up that sleeping giant in you and say, so I'm ready as to So Ari Ike is telling you that you have to wake up that sleeping giant, I'm saying to you that you should better immediately. You don't get before you die. Because there are some times that you have to be harsh on yourself. Yeah. Do it and stop doing all those. And you know, it's like, I don't understand though. This situation Before is just guys. this situation. This situation is just crazy. We tried balancing all of this. Reached mm -hmm. out to um, um, Aloma DMW, who used to manage this guy, they have and, issues, and so... signed him off to Davido's record mm -hmm. label. And his manager Shay Taylor said they cannot comment anything about this because Aloma too was involved in all of this. Another girl came up and said that's how his guy used to do too. And it's just crazy whatever is happening on social media. Davido was trending yesterday. People have decided to call out Davido that yeah. if this guy is signed under you, take him off. Mm -hmm. Because this guy doesn't represent you well, if truly he did all of this. But till yet, till uh, still, Davido nor his management. No, a lot of people were even trying to drag Davido into crazy, the man. whole thing. Because they were like, oh, Davido, the normal day, something that is not even your business. It's you know, a personal thing. They're going to comment. Don't. So, <laughs> it's a personal thing. Yeah. All right, so Crazy moving on. Charlie. Moving on. Tema Braxton plans to return to music. Following the rough couple of months that she has been through, American singer, actress, and television personality Tema Braxton has announced that she has plans to take up play, pay, pain to the studio and drop new music. Tema took to our Instagram page to make the announcement where she shared a photo of herself with the caption, I'm ready to pour some pain into my music. All of this is coming after the abuse allegations from and against our ex-husband, um, boyfriend i meant to say david adefeso and our attempted suicide just so you know tema braxton last project was released in 2017. yes it's put good it to all know that three music. years after we it, hear yeah from tema braxton so i, I know that you are a fan I love, of this. yeah, yeah I, lo I love people that when you're going through issues <laughs> yeah don't just put it on instagram and Be keep ranting. people wondering just puts everything into music and of course people want to hear People want and to I know think what it really works. happened. Yeah, Even it works. when you're that person, if the person that is in a domestic violence situation is watching, write, just write yes. yours. I think it will Explain really yourself. Do. It yeah. will help Explain you. Yourself. I think so. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, yes, great loving with you. that. Yes, wrapping up the entertainment stories. Abby Weinstein slammed with six new sexual assault charges. Huh. Convicted rapist and embattled American film producer Abby Weinstein has been hit with six new counts of possible sexual assault, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. Abby Weinstein, who is serving a 23-year prison sentence for rape, was charged with three additional forcible rape felonies and three forcible oral copulation charges stemming from alleged attacks between 2004 and 2010 in Beverly Hills which expands the Los Angeles case to a total of five victims. The disgraced film mogul is now facing a total of 11 counts of sexual assault in Los Angeles County involving five women. According to the assault case, if convicted as charged in Los Angeles, Abby Weinstein faces up to 140 years to live in state prison. Abby Weinstein, on the other hand, has still maintained his innocence, stating that every one of his physical encounters throughout his entire life has been consensual. Hmm. Hmm. Now, wow. He gets a CB. Now, wow. Well, if he's still saying that, and uh, it's he's, so he's seven sentence people, right now. A lot of people came out to say, and then you're still saying it was consensual. Maybe he doesn't even understand the meaning of, of consensual exactly. to, to start with. Exactly. And I think, again, this will serve as a deterrent to other people that, mm. you know what, you just don't take advantage of, of people. others. Yeah, and I feel like emphasis should be laid on what consent really means. Mm -hmm. I mean, your I house to visit you does not mean I'm saying I want to do. It's not, do you Even if I'm laying on your bed, it's not still consent. If I kiss you and I say stop, kissing you first and saying stop doesn't mean that it's consent. If I say stop, you stop. So I think that the conversation should be on what consent really, really is. Because a lot of people misunderstand this thing and say, oh, she came to my house, she did this, she did that. It is still not consensual. So, sir, 
It's just, it's, be it's, just, it's just crazy. All of his works, everything tarnished right that now. That is why I am saying that this. people have to learn from him. Yeah. Because you can be so gifted, you can be so skilled, and you have worked so hard in your life. And just one thing, tarnish something everything. that will not last one hour or even 30 minutes, we now come and spoil <laughs> everything that you have There's done. There's two seconds, everything on bust. Everything mm -hmm. on bust. I am just saying, you know, to all the people, that are saying that because later now you people say it is something that is doing me. If you are not in my shoes, you cannot. I said, stop it. And the truth is, power, fame, influence doesn't <laughs> stop it. When it's time for you to be punished, you will get punished. Yeah. Like, look at R. Kelly, look at him, look at Jeffrey Epstein as well. You know, so yeah, when it's time. To into the yeah, exactly. Oh power and influence and fame doesn't stop anything. Live life like you actually would be able to tell your child to do the same. Especially when you're in the limelight. It's just so funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyways, we are done with the entertainment news. Up next, it's time for Celebrity Birthday Shout Out! <laughs> In alphabetical order and not order of importance, today's celebrants are the following people. Elizabeth Shue is 57 today. <laughs> Elizabeth is an American actress best known for roles in the movies The Karate, the Karate Kid in 1984, Back to the Future franchise, Olo Man, Piranha, 3D, and a host of others. She has won several acting awards and has been nominated for an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and of course, a BAFTA. Super talented. Like since 1984, oh, yeah. she has been acting. And you're even still relevant till so date. And on, the way then. she spells her own Elisa. 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 I know she's in there. Elisa. Sorry. Wow. Happy birthday, Elisa Shu. Wow. Elisa yeah. Shu, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think say Elisa. And she's married to a film director too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe that's why she gets loses. Wow. Happy birthday. <laughs> also celebrated today. And Gruford is 47. <laughs> He is a Welsh actor who first came to public attention as fifth officer Harold Lowe in the Titanic movie. He has since starred in various blockbuster movies and television series, uh, which includes King Arthur, The Fantastic Four, and his sequel, um, Amazing Grace, 102 Dimensions, and most recently, Ava, which I love, which I have watched and love, but some people don't like that movie, by the way. Dalmatian. Yeah, Ava. <laughs> No, the mission, no, one, one or one two. The, the, yeah, there was one or two and one that That was where he met his wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. The one or two. That was where he met his wife. And what if she was meeting on set like this? She had no yes, act like this. If she meet on set, what's uh, wrong? Uh, uh, but, the whole situation was different. So eh? let me tell you, and I keep wondering, do you know that the wife was still engaged and was living with the person that she was engaged to at that time? Ah! Hmm. Ah. I could share all Evans. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> also celebrated today, ladies and gentlemen, Laman Roka is 49. <laughs> Laman is an American actor who began his career on the daytime soap operas as the world turns and all my children before roles in Tyler Perry's film Why Did I Get Married? Why Did I Get Married Too? and Meet the Browns. In 2016, he began starring as Jacob Greenleaf in the Opera Winfrey network drama series Greenleaf. Only oh. put people. <laughs> what? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Like, you <laughs> I'm here for all the green leaf people. You know, you're yes. green too, so please do it for us. Okay, on behalf of everybody who loves green leaf, <laughs> we're saying happy birthday to you. And who are these people looking like aliens? Some of you with Dada. Happy, happy birthday to you too. <laughs> <laughs> also, celebrate today, Russian Fagan is 29. Ooh. Roshan is an American actor, rapper, and dancer, best known for his role as T.Y. Blue on the Disney Channel original series Shake It Up, for his role as Sandal Lawyer in the Disney Channel movie franchise Camp Rock with Jonas Brothers and Demi Lovato. He has acted in several movies such as Spider-Man, Baby, and in television series such as Insecure, mm -hmm. Greenleaf, and others. That's right, that's right. Singer, <laughs> dropping singles and album, dancer, running things in various videos, Still acting. Acting. Why it being insecure on Greenleaf? Uh, hmm. And you know, even his uh, character in Greenleaf was a very funny one. So he was singing, <laughs> attending church, and he was still a gangster, and he was beating his girlfriend too. Ah. 
I want your leave. Uh, I'm telling you, I want your kidney here, go go on. On, on that happy note, birthday um, happy birthday to everybody celebrating That's his birthday. character, though. I'm that's just not saying, when you said I want you, I said I want you, and you're going to go No, I'm just happy to tell people that that's a character in Green Hill. Uh, it's just, not like he's a no, 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 that was a, oh, my gosh. It's true, we need to let them know. <laughs> on that note, happy birthday to everybody celebrating this special day. And yes, massive birthday shout out to Isioma Osage, a.k.a. Miss Jasmine Fyle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, super talented. Transition from TV, now TV, doing movies, TV, producing managing. movies and management, working with the Ebony Life people. Amazing, super talented person. Yes, we wish you all the best and every beautiful thing you wish yourself. Nice so, morning. Alongside everybody celebrating their birthday oh. on this special okay. day. And who a wants, kiss from OJ to Who wants to blow kiss? You. From you to them. Yes, please. And don't waste Turn our time. Turn a new leaf today. Don't waste our time, OJ. Don't waste our time, Time please. is going. They're waiting for your kiss. Uh uh. What's that? Oh, we're romantic, Rara. See, you're just a mess. Peace. <laughs> be a mess. Be at peace with yourself. They have peace already. Peace is they, legit. They be, have peace. Be at peace with yourself. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll help Amanda and OJ. Yeah. Uh -huh, You're all going to say, oh, Nikkei, let me fuck. I'll do your own. No, I'll not do my own. Well, let me, Jaya, it's time for today's history lesson. Jaya, take a look at me. I'm here to kill. Oh, you're not here to kill. Let's rewind. On this day in 1960, Spartacus, directed by Stanley Kubrick and starring Kirk Douglas and Laurence Olivier, premieres in New York City. And in 1963, Barbara Streisand appears on Judy Garland's show. <laughs> Finally, on this day in 1987, Faith, a single released by George Michael, went on to win the Billboard Song of the Year in 1988. And that's it on Rewind. The time. reason I said nobody. Jara can stop by that. Hola. Hey. Continue. Hey. What's it? Hey, hey Nava. <laughs> hey, Nava. Nava. Oh, Jay, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, everything's all right. Shout out to Whiskey. Uh, yeah, and featuring her. Smile. Um, apparently today is Whiskey's Day in America, in the States in America, Minnesota. Don't say America, say in a in state. A state. In a, uh, so there's public holiday. So for you to have the state. Oh, they are celebrating Whiskey Day. Today is Whiskey's so Day. So on Whiskey's Day, what happened? In America. What happened? Are you, they don't are go you, to are work? you a Whiskey DFC? <laughs> I'm just asking. Uh, Ask the Whiskey DFC. Ah. They are the one chilling. Today is the August Day. Okay. Well, do they have the a day for you in your village, sir? My guy, yes. Where? What, what? They Which do. Day? Which day? They do. Which day? I will tell you on that yeah. day. <laughs> wow, look, I you mean, just I don't, I don't mind, OJ. Don't let anybody mess with you. I what? I will drag both of you. I'm not even going to say anything. This is Street View, girl. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> I, I'm taking sides with you. I, I didn't you think don't believe the side. You don't believe the side. I didn't think 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 the side. But we moved. We moved still. It's a funny Harry Kess day. Yes. What's the big deal in that? What will you be doing? Even in public, even in TV today, we'll be public all day for more on that day. Ah, <laughs> because ah. of you. See, why I become your president? Try me. Try me. So just Please. want to go and be slain. Let's just move on. Sapi and Tim says, a teacher asked a class of grade three kids to write letters to God. And it's mind blowing and innocently funny. If you guys have been on Twitter, you'd have seen this thread. Like, it is hilarious. But then, um, let's show you some. That's right. Okay. <laughs> First letter. <sighs> this is from Norma. It says, Dear God, did you mean for a giraffe to look like that? Or was it an accident? <laughs> Norma. Innocently funny. Wow. Well, it's an innocent question. Yeah, like, but God, this, this giraffe, it gets us a bill. What is the it, neck? He can't, can't say it's ugly at the neck. It's mm. say, did you actually, was it, was it a mistake? Could it have just uh, been a mistake? Cute. <laughs> Moving on to the next letter. In fact, if I was God's assistant, if I were God's assistant. What would you do? They say, how did you know you were God? Charlie, hey. Hey, how did you know you were God? Oh, how would God answer this question? Just give the girl thunder. <laughs> Sorry. You don't watch your bathroom. <laughs> Nollywood as as kids. Give me a sign. Of course, sign. God understands that mm -hmm. they are kids. That's and bad. I'm sure that there are so many things that we actually thought about too while mm -hmm. growing, growing up. Like, I, I, yeah. as a child, so like, you know. <laughs> Next letter, let's find out more. But this thread has been Innocent very... questions. Honestly, look, look, we've checked this one. How did you Innocent know you were God? Question. The next one. How did you know you were God? I was God. Dear God, on Halloween, I am going to wear a devil's costume. 
is that all right with you? <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> like, innocently. Innocently. On the plane. Oh, my God. Is it good? Is it OK? Yeah, plane. It's just plane. Halloween, God. It's just plane. Halloween, God, like costume. I'm just yeah. saying costume. <laughs> is it OK? God has to reply, because if I were the teacher, right? I've been able to respond to so God, God is too busy with serious issues like no, Nigeria. No, God, Nigeria, is, God, Nigeria. God, is, God is so sweet. God is excited about this. God is so sweet. Because I am she, very, I'm very sure. Exactly. Pro, I'm getting directly from Nigeria. Nigeria. Brain, you know. Well, they're having a conversation with, with God. God. That's yes. prayer. So I think that this is how people should actually pray because my prayer is not, very close not to this. Not you people so. No, no, no. My prayer oh, is very well. close to this. Oh, actually, oh, when I tell people, oh, I think I've told. What is going to I, I think, I don't know, maybe it's for Ladele that I told. I've told her how I pray, and she looked at me in a certain way. So, this is how I pray. So, I, I will even start the story. I'll say, So, when I got to work today, and also Arike. Arike! Our college. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> dear God. Um, this is another one. I said, Dear God, I went to this wedding, and they kissed right in church. <laughs> is that okay? Yes. Neil. You have seen bad scene, my guy. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> That's how I choose to start. It's from kids. Hey. God just said, it's from kids. So they're not supposed to be kissing in church. In your so house. Why are they kissing? Is that okay? Me, as God, being the teacher, I reply, yes, it's okay, but it's not nice, not allowed. <laughs> Copulation. Let's just move on. You know, did you ever think that uh, how do they even give birth to them? So was, I didn't know, at some point, I did not know. It took me how many years to know that children come from. Yeah, I knew. Uh, hmm. I innocent, don't know. Innocent, innocent questions. Hmm. I don't know. I dear God, thank you for the baby brother. Uh, but I, what I prayed what? for was a puppy. Joy. <laughs> if the mom saw this, especially a Nigerian mom, imagine. Joy. Mama said, hello, go. Like, are you Joyce all right? Joyce praying for a puppy. You don't then, get. I like the baby brother, but God, now puppy. Yeah. Because puppy, I can play with baby. Imagine <laughs> that this was like a Nigerian mom. Like, this guy is ah, Nigerian. They've told and me. Then the, and then the mom waited, like, years after giving birth to, to him to have, to have that baby. And then you now go and say. They've told me. Your era was. <laughs> but I like, I like the way he started. Like, thank you for the baby brother. Yeah, it's not I like I'm hungry, but I appreciate it. it. But God. You know, go bad. I'm puppy now. Ah, <laughs> not puppy at the time. It's a child that you're asking for. Is that our child? Moving on to the next one. <laughs> Says, dear God, how come you didn't invent any new animals lately? We still have just all the old ones. Wow. Johnny. <laughs> this one, the final upgrade. Maybe like iPhone. <laughs> like, what kind of animals? So do Lion you One, Lion Two, Lion X. <laughs> Lion X Pro Lion Max. On. This is so, so cute. Honestly. Aww. I would do this with children in my church. Nigerian children? Yes. <laughs> you just want to know their thoughts, right? Yeah, I just want Nigerian to. Nigerian kids? Mm -hmm. You have to spoil this. Honestly. You have no, to spoil no, 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 no. this. No, you have this version, so you know how they think. Uh. Mm -hmm. Boy, are you for the school teacher? I mean, telling you no, know, but I've not been going okay. for a while. I just wanted to. I don't want daddy to be stuck in trap. Dear God, I don't want daddy to be stuck in trap. Yeah. See, dear so God, God. I don't want your back. wife is on the school teacher. Yes, now she's trained, though. Just leave her. What's wrong day. with you? Not the, not in my the, former church, I, I was not already the head, in the school teacher, but my new church, I'm interning. So you have to do discipleship class for. Stop six hating. So, Stop yeah. hating. Moving on to the next one. Dear God, if you give me Jenny Lamb like Aladdin, I will give you anything you want except my money or my chest set. <laughs> Lord, anything this you want, like but not my money. Small. From small. Sweet. Nagai. Small. <laughs> Sweet. Nagai. Imagine this boy now will grow up. You say, baby, I want to make my hair. It's 300,000. My girl say, uh, go work for your money, man. I ain't paying, I ain't paying nothing. Go be like OJ. I ain't paying nothing. What do you OJ, mean? if I tell OJ, 300K, it's 30K, you give me tight. <laughs> but you, you, be, you be influencer, you, de, you get money on your own. It doesn't mean I shouldn't buy stuff, darling. Oh, Rodney, Chima, man, that fought for this. We are all equal. Moving oh, <laughs> 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 on to the next one. It says, dear God, I bet it is very, very kind of you, or very, very kind for you to love all of everybody in the whole world. <laughs> Oh, very hard for you. The handwriting is so real. Hey, God. <laughs> I bet it's very hard for you to love all of everybody in the whole world. There are only four people in our family, and I can't never do it. Aww. None. 
That's so sweet. <laughs> cute. But then uh, for a child to be saying that there are just four people and he's struggling to love like all of them, them at the same, same time. time. It's just so funny. Favorite, and you have the one that you just feel like, this one is mean, I don't like this one. Oh, always yelling. Yeah. Or the, and there's going to be mommy that is always saying, bring the remote or yeah. whatever it stress, is. Stress your life. She stresses me mentally and emotionally. <laughs> so I will feel well Yeah, for but loving everybody all the same. Kill us. Kill us, God. Yeah. Like, yeah. ultimately. Yeah. I go like see the Nigerian version of this thing. I go like see him. Dear God. When I saw, will Nepal stop taking lines? Not pigeon. Mm. When like Nepal go stop to take no, lines? Dear God, I saw daddy with another woman. And he says I shouldn't tell mommy. Should I really not tell mommy? Okay, let's just move on. Mommy will now see because me, I will send it home. Let's move on. Mommy now. Like so we're now in that thread. If you want to see more of it, go on social media. It is what? crazy. It is cute, cute and innocently funny. Like, I love it. <laughs> All right, so this is another one. It says the day someone will post me as L O M L, that's love of my life. Mumma screenshot, eh? Mumma print, eh? Mumma to frame me. If I'm Mumma and get in your army, Mumma to bring biscuits from junction to junction. Oh, possibly look into much for a big gun. Lori, love of my life. Let me help you people. But wait, Lori, love of my life. It's possible I just screenshot it. It's possible I print it. Mm -hmm. It's possible I put it in a frame. It's possible I hang it in my bedroom. It's possible I even distribute biscuits from junction to junction on top, say, we they do celebration. In fact, we move. With what? Ashwabi? Eh? Eh? Just eh? because somebody eh? told you I love them. They post you. See, let me tell you something. So, so I, was, I was showing a friend, I was just sitting with my friend, I was talking about my, uh, my ex, and I showed like a, a screenshot of where he posted me and stuff. She's like, oh, he used to post you. I'm like, yeah. She's like, ah, are you late the relationship? Ah. They've never put yes. that new. <laughs> yeah. The way she said it was like, and I was like, oh, you're supposed to be alone. She's like, ah, I don't see your comments in this screenshot. People posting, in relationships, posting, you have posting, to do better. Posting, posting so on social, posting this on your, social media. This your you current boyfriend, does he post you? Has he even finished posting himself? It's not, it's not a public affair. He's, no, so the thing is, you have to know the individual. Like, he's a very private person. He doesn't even post himself. I'm literally forcing him to post more pictures of himself. On boyfriend's But, day, but wait, 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 wait. He posts me on his Insta stories a lot. Okay, so on boyfriend's day, did you post I it? I always post OJ. Do you know how many... On um, boyfriend's day, did you post it? Yes, I, I did. It. I don't need it. I do not need it. I actually oh, did, man. baby. Yeah, I know, but but it's the feeling. It's not the value. That, we don't it need is. that. I'm just telling you, babe. All this love of my life, it might not mean anything. You can, you if I go and frame it, you can not post, have an attack afterwards. Post, there are levels to this. And there's a way that somebody will love you and they will be able to broadcast... I'm mean, sorry, broadcasting. <laughs> broadcast to like this. Let me, let and me say, not, let me this is my L-O-M-L. Let me not even spoil everything. You know, the guy can post or the girl can post and block every other person from seeing from that post. From seeing, yeah, so... That's right. So in your mind, oh, yeah. No, but that, that happens only on WhatsApp. But on Instagram, you can't block everybody not to see the post. Yeah, on WhatsApp. Because okay. it might not be everybody, but then you can Select block certain people. people. Uh, you block your people. Actually, I know those your daddies. They are yeah. not always on Instagram, so it could really matter. Okay, you <laughs> that is just how to get And the first hour of the show... I hope that you may never Wait, talk, but I'm able to convince you and not to confuse you that posting you or not posting you. Come on, me. Play everything straight. <laughs> well, guys, we'll see you at 1 o'clock for lots and lots of movie talk and music. I think I'm going to deal with you. You know, first of all, you were telling people to talk about like this. It's not like this. Uh, back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm in the building. Yours sincerely. Um, King OJ. Your girlfriend next door is also in the building. Mm -hmm. And of course, the lady with the dimples is also in the building. You should smile. So, <laughs> I'm just confused. Smile. You don't even know why I'm laughing. Why? Yeah. What's the problem? OK, when well, we finish this show, you might catch somebody. OK, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, like I said earlier, the second, to the second half of the show. It's now time to chew it off. Time for us to vent about what's bothering us. Take your I'm good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm good too. Just cold for good. <laughs> I got you. You do. Ah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem? What happened? <laughs> also, it's you. What's your problem? Go, go. She, uh, okay, so it's very simple, short. Yeah. It's and nice. I just mean, nice. please listen. Uh, that should listen. It's long. Go, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no, it's not long. We move. We move. Okay. I'm now I'm just saying. No, mm. don't let us move on this one. <laughs> The way they treat people who don't need anything from them hmm. or who they don't need anything from. Hmm. I mean, the way they treat people that they don't need anything from hmm. tells a lot about them. 
That's just what I want to say. You have to break it down. So, if you say I should break it down. What did you want something from that they not give you? Oh, you do you want to okay. give something to you? <laughs> What? So this is what I actually mean. I'm going to break it down. So you see, when people don't need stuff from certain people, mm. the way they treat them, mm. it says a lot about, about them. Yeah. You might be carried away and you're not paying attention. I think you should pay attention. Mm. So human beings are just funny. See, if you are looking for how human beings are, really, lose your job. Mm. Like, don't have money. Mm. Don't, you will not see anybody. Mm. You see, most of this, I'm not saying that there are no few beautiful, good people in and out, but they are very, very few. <laughs> Human beings are just funny. So many people with you is just because of what you have to offer they them. To Tomorrow, get. if anything happens, you know, Movement. I don't even know how to, so I will not speak the Yoruba, but I will just uh, help you do the Yoruba proverb in English. You know how they say that just pretend that you're dead. Just close your eyes and see, and who, would see say. who would say. So that's it. Say it in Yoruba. It's always sweeter. It used to have... Well, so if you don't understand on a post ran, should I help you interpret it? If you want or to... Or be, be The way they treat the people that, hmm. are, that they need nothing from or they don't need anything from, Shai, is the same thing. Is how they will treat you at the end of the day when they're done using you. How did, how, I mean, going on a date with a guy and he's being really nice to you, but he's nasty to the waiter. He go treat you like that. If he be you, uh, the guy that, that is very rude to his security guy, his driver, people that he thinks, oh, they add no value to my life. The way they treat those people is exactly who they really are. If they are really nice to those people, that means that they are actually genuinely nice people. However, don't be carried away and say, oh, this person is nice to the driver. You might be nice to the driver because he gets secrets with the driver. <laughs> treat everybody equally. equally. That's the long and short of the rant. Hmm. I've done a good job, Abby. Thank you. Please, fact, still, 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 still give us, still give us. You need to still, still give us in that Yoruba adage. Go away. Wait to be your own. My guy, go and sit oh, down. Oh, my knee, wait, man. Wait, go. Afani. Afani, kidi. Tiba, tiborobo. Oh, what? What are you saying? Are you speaking in Fuji slang? Tiba, tiba, tiborobo. Pak, pa, julo. Okay, pak, pa, julo. Nini, go, go, on, go, tan, so, in, in, pe. Tabani, pe, ka, ji, See, guys, I think these two people have found a job at, like, some filling station, because that is not what this show is about. Yeah. You can actually translate. What? No need. I'm just saying. No need. We're good. All right. We're good. Moving on, guys. It's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. First up, Davido's artist, Lil Fresh, accused of alleged assault. Timmer Braxton plans a return to music. Well, of course, we talked about this one. Ivan Weinstein slammed with six new sexual assault charges. Well, that's all we can take on the entertainment news recap. Daily Top 5 is up next. See you soon. Right there. Yes, yes, brand new one right there from Omale. Yes, welcome back to the show. And of course, thank you so much for staying with us. Yes, as the popular saying goes, no single road leads to the market. We can say this, Nollywood actors have applied this adage to their careers and sought after similar money-making ventures in the same field. Seeing as they are exceptional actors, calling the shots have only showcased their talent the more. While some act and double as producers, a few of them continue combine acting with directing. Let's take a look at five Nollywood actors who are also filmmakers. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Number one on our list, Genevieve Energy. One of Nigeria's leading actresses, Genevieve has an eye for filmmaking as she combines acting with directing and production. The multi-award winning actress produced her first movie, Road to Yesterday, in 2015, while her directorial debut, Lionheart, was released three years after the movie premiered at the 2018 Toronto International Film Festival and was later licensed to show on the Netflix platform. For amazing work in Nollywood movie industry, Genevieve was chosen as a member of the US-based Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science, aka the Oscars. So she's mm. acting, 
producing, directing, cashing out in Honestly. all ways. Even she's one of the um um their should I say judges or something for the TIFF, that's the Toronto yeah, International, International, International Film Festival. Festival, that's Festival right. You know, so she's one of the top people in that box, and I'm like. Ah. Way to go! You don't see her or hear about her until she's doing something big. She's not in any messy situation. It's so commendable. You know, it's so honestly. commendable. And somebody was talking to me about Genevieve and told me that Genevieve has uh, this beautiful work ethic. Like, she's always punctual. Mm. Like, she would make mm. anything happen. You know that. We all know that. So even random artists that you invite Diva. to this show, they'll hmm. be telling you that they're on Third Milan Bridge <laughs> and they can be on that Third Milan Bridge till the show finishes when you have given them ample notice. So, I mean, people who are great did not just get there. It mm -hmm. takes process mm -hmm. and, and, discipline. The thing, and discipline for somebody to always be punctual. Like, she flew to the US and then she made it back to, like, these things are not easy. People get very tired, but they yeah. still do it. But you don't know what they go through. You just see the fine face and you're like, oh, maybe they just call them like that. They put in work, a lot of work. work. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Give me a Genevieve brand and I'm good. <laughs> Number two on the list is Ramsey Noah. The actor's name was on every tongue after he made his directorial debut with the film Living in Bondage, Breaking Free, which was a sequel to the 1992 Nollywood classic of the same name. The supernatural thriller featured occultic scenes, fast cars, and glam with Ramsey Noah himself acting as the main villain. Just so you know, the Nollywood star is also directing the soon-to-be-released remake of another Nollywood classic, Rattlesnake, which has many, many fans like myself and OJ especially <laughs> high in anticipation. Yeah, so we can't wait. Like, we, can, it, we cannot say anything about yeah, it shocked, it shocked us. Like, it's my favorite art, um, actor, actor, number one. Then it shocked us with living in bondage. Now he's doing the rattlesnake one. And we're like, okay, continue now. You can't do any wrong what? again. Why are yeah. you No, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that on this show. Why? Yeah, your Why actor cast us. Almost. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. Thank you very Moving much. Moving on, guys. <laughs> Daily Top 5, by the way. <laughs> Stephanie Okereke Linus. Stephanie is another leading actress who has a stronghold on movie production and directing. Stephanie has produced two critically acclaimed movies, Dry and Through the Glass. Dry is a movie which tries to teach the dangers of early child marriage and VVF. The movie was voted Best Overall Film at the Africa Magic Viewers' Choice Award, AMVCA, in 2016. Well, uh, directional debut movie through the glass or was released under a production company next stage production another feat detailing are not only as an outstanding actress but also a movie director and producer of notes honestly yeah. I think she, 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 with that dry, she won my yeah. heart. Yeah. Mm. Um, if you know me well, with Girl Child, line. I love it. And the acting, the storytelling, <laughs> everything, he deserved that award and even more. Mm. Absolutely. I love her so much. Well I, done. I, I love the fact that she is actually very classy with whatever yeah, thing she does. She does. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, you know, you just, she, you just wake up one day and then you see that she's, she's working on some new stuff. Yeah. And that she's not only a Nigerian actor, no, she's they've, international. They've, they've crossed Guys. over. <laughs> I don't mean 31st to watch Nice Horizon. She has crossed over to Hollywood. That's what we mean. That's what, yeah. Yeah. No, some people may not know. Okay. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> the next person on our, on our list, Fuke Akindele Bello. Yes, Fuke, a.k.a. Jennifer, is one of the most notable and respected filmmakers in Nollywood as she is the CEO of Sin One Film Production alongside her husband, JJC. She's the brain behind the production of Return of Jennifer as he also, she also crafted the Jennifer Diary series, which is focused on the life and tra trials of an illiterate young woman who speaks bad English. However, a directorial movie debut was Your Excellency, which was one of the biggest movies of 2019 for its hilarious but thought-provoking theme. Love, love, yes, love, 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 I don't even leave. know. Like, yeah. I was still watching Jennifer's diary, I think, two days ago. And I'm like, what? How she does, like... You act then, in it, you still You don't lose yourself. Yeah. I mean, I know it's acting, but that accent... The character. Man, that character. <laughs> what? I think it's one question that she gets asked every time. How, How do you don't switch? you mix it up? I don't like it when she switches to normal. When she's talking like that, I'm like... Why so serious? <laughs> he was the... It sounds know. like if Funke talks like that on a norm, mm -hmm. like we would accept her. Yeah, Honestly, right. I would, she definitely. Does. I love her. I work ethic. And, you know, as place, as place where she is on mm -hmm, set and everything, mm -hmm. they say, when she says... 
Action. Action. Ha. You'll then no miss. <laughs> well, that you is know. what makes us like what they Absolutely. do at the end of the day. Absolutely. If it's a wishy washy thing, then you won't get the best. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Love mm -hmm. me some for Kia Kindele Bello. All right, number five on the list is Omonio Boli. Although the best known, I mean, although best known as an actress, an amazing one at that, with a captivating on screen presence, Omonio Boli has since joined the exclusive club of movie directors and producers in Nollywood. Nearly every movie she has signed on as a producer and director director has turned gold. Her director debut, Bane Mrs. Elliot, was a hit. So was her second, The First Lady, The Third, Wives on Strike, was a blockbuster, and the fourth one, Okafor's Law. And even Anchor Baby was an amazing man, guys. And even um, Okafor's Law was um, had this world premiere in 2016 at the Toronto International Film Festival. In 2016, though. Jesus. I saw you what? I still saw all Baby. money in Oluturi yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Run away, guys. All right, so that's it on today's Daily Top 5. We'll be back after this break for What Are You Watching? Then I get to tell you some more about Oluturi. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. What are you watching is back again. As usual, we'll be sharing and talking about some of the movies and shows we recently watched. And we will also love to hear from you as well as you tell us about yours later. Tweet to us at TVC Connect with the hashtag is slash on TVC. TVC. Okay, so where do we even start? Me. Okay. Yes, no, because you guys are basically going to talk about the same movie. So let me go. Lady, Whatever. Ladies first. How did you even know that? Are you in our heart? Because you said you were coming back to talk about Oluture. He talked about Oluture yesterday, saying, I'll talk I'll talk more about uh. it today. So I know that you guys are talking about the same movie. I'm good oh, like that. Smart. But I'm special. <laughs> I watched something different. Not like I didn't oh, watch yeah, Oluture, but I watched something different. So the movie title is a deuces like deuces <laughs> and the actors in the film include um larry's tate my crush god lord lane's grass it had all my crushes in one film roti me i can show um we had megan good as well who was kissing my crush ah, by the way is. and we had um nick rick gonzalez who was also in coach carter i talked about him the last time on the show i love this movie so much movie plots is just i'm not gonna say too much it's, it's centered around um a secret detective who goes on the cover to um, arrest this crime, this crime gang. But at the end of the day, he finds himself really interested in the charismatic leader. And the charismatic leader happens to be Lawrence Tate, who played Deuces. So the, the title of the movie is Deuces, and his name was Deuces as well. So um, that's all I'm going to say without giving out too much. But then there's also the love and romantic part of it. Megan Good and Lawrence Tate, I think that they're such a cute couple if they were in still crushing on us, if they were so. still yeah but if they were dating in real life i'll be doing lucky work. yeah but i'll be happy for yeah. them <laughs> all right what made the movie interesting um it just had everything it had a bit of action it had the comedy a little bit so like you have to be wise to get the comedy <laughs> part um it had romance and everything just the acting was really good for me the scene that stuck out for me was the scene where um the detective found out that some people on the inside were even involved in the whole thing and they were trying to get Deuces down. So he fell in love with Deuces, so to speak, and fought for him. And that's what I'm going to say. Because mm. if I say that, that's the end thing. <laughs> I'm already giving out the movie. How would I rate this movie? In all honesty, I watched it on the same day twice. That's how much I love you don't, it. You don't have another movie to watch. I don't understand. No, no, no. I actually just really liked it. So the first time I watched it, I watched it like pff, random pick. Okay. Let me see if it'll be interesting. But eventually, I loved it, and I was like, okay, now let me watch it. Like, I'm the one acting the Gang Good character. Wow. Okay, and I'll watch it. Like, wait, because of Gang Good. Yeah, it's because of Kiss. Ah, let me see it. Oh, God. It's okay. Focus. What would I rate the movie? I would give it 9 over 10. <laughs> interesting. A very nice like Interesting. That. All it's right. A good movie. I'll, I'll look out for that. Do you check it out? I'll definitely love to watch it because of Gang Good. Lines, yeah. like, <laughs> I was, had, oh, I was, God. I was, Three crushes in one minute. Have you seen her leaves? Leaves. Juicy. Juicy. Was a scene where, oh, what should I tell Rihanna on your behalf? Oh, yeah. She knows. She knows. The lottery children. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So I am talking about lottery. That's the movie I watched. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, actors in the film. You have Omoni Oboli, as I said earlier. You have Sharon Oja. You have Lozom Chuku. You have Wofai Fada. You have Omo Beverly Osu. You, 
like Oma Omi Dada, like a, a whole lot yeah, of Bukala. them, like, uh, you know, star-studded stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the plot. In Lagos, a journalist goes undercover to expose sex and uh, you know, what do you call Sex that thing? Uh, and and traffic. Traffic. And traffickers, yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's just the plot, actually. Mm -hmm. But then it's such an interesting one. Uh, why did I find it interesting? I, I found it interesting for so many things because uh, I actually loved, uh, you know, the colors. I loved the props. I loved the soundtrack. I love every, like they took, it, it was detailed, really, really detailed. Not that they don't even still have their lapses, I would actually be honest, you know. Uh, but then it was, re they, they took the time, even the uh characters mm -hmm. uh, the the <laughs> The people who play the characters actually went in, mm -hmm. especially Sharon Oja. People have been saying that a lot, that, okay, so she didn't do a normal thing, like being uh, uh, typecast and all that, uh, that she went in. And it could actually, you could see it, you could feel it, that she went, she threw herself into the role. And it was just so fantastic. I mean, uh, Omo Umidada did it for me. Oh, uh, they killed it. What? <laughs> and, um, killed it. The scene that stuck out for me, I would say, when the journalist was raped while doing that job, because I mean that that that's a lot. Like you're giving it a lot. Like you know, it's unexpected. You're, doing your, you're job, yeah. doing your job, and things are still happening to you. And those are things that you can actually see. Like you can foresee that they would happen, or mm -hmm. they could happen eventually. How would I rate it? I'll rate it eight over ten. I think it's a good score. I I, I think so. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. if I do say so myself, mm -hmm. because people like to call me weird on the set because they think I'm not so generous with my marks or scores. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I will rate it. Yeah. So, uh, you want to add something? It's, it's the same movie, uh, Oloture. Uh, I'll, rate, I'll rate it 7 over 10. Why 7? Because it just got to a point, like, it started well. Yeah, 7 over 10 is not bad. It started well, but it just got to a point like, where are we going to? And of course, the way it ended, it's like there will be a sequel to yeah, this story. I think that there, there will be a sequel, a sequel to it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it can't just end like end that. Like and, that. I, and it's a story of someone, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I even think it did not start well. Maybe... You I think it didn't start yes, well. Yes, I think that they should yeah, have given us some backstory. Cool. I think they should have done some stuff before it started. Cool. We, they just started and we just saw somebody at a particular scene. So we're not going to spo spoil it for you. It's a new one and I think that everybody should watch I'm it. Mommy Dada did a fantastic she job. She did herself. I, I yeah. remember talking about Mommy Dada earlier. That she's last week when I read it, that she's, oh, she's underrated. She's a fantastic thespian and an actor to the bone. Like, I could feel her pain. Bukola also did amazing. Like, I could see that whole fear and, you know, naivety in her. Like, so, I love those two. I think almost everybody did well. Almost and I would so. even say that Beverly also that I did not even care. Yeah, she was, from a, her. She was a silent actor. Silence, but that's more. Even in silence, she was interpreting the role. Yes. Omani Oboli killed it. Period. It's just crazy. What? Lo lovely movie, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break now. And when we come back, it will be time for you to share with us which Nigeria of foreign movies or shows did you recently watch? Tell us what's so special about it. Who acted in it? What scenes or scenes caught, up, caught your fancy? And most importantly, how will you rate what you watch? All of this after this break. Bro. Yes, sir. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, of course, we're doing movies you are currently watching. Uh, so feel free to tell us what you're watching. And of feel course, free. yes, we have a phone call already. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's move one. over to Twitter. Sulaimon Adele says, currently watching How to Concede Six and Seven. Yes, just joking, Jerry. I'm watching Think Like a Dog. Wow, <laughs> how to concede six or seven? That's like Man U Liverpool so by the way. Oh. Yes, we get it. So, Lemon, thank you for chipping that in. Ah, yeah. but the person is saying that, Ari, I love you forever. Thank no, you. because he's trying to drag me now. Man U wow. fan. No problem. Thank you for that. Lemon, you just fought it, putting out. Only fake love, love. Only fake love <laughs> where you are. Fake yeah. says, um, I'm presently watching um, Antibillion or something like that. Both movies are great. Something I will watch again. Mm. Okay, okay. So what next do we have? This oh. one says, I saw the dumb man and the billion recently. Still the same person again. And of course, yes, what do we have again? Um, Susan. 
Susan Flo of Ibuse is a Korean series. It's a Korean series. Okay, so okay. All right, we have a caller on the line. Rejoice was good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon to you too. So tell us what movie are you currently watching, Susan? Rejoice. Hello. Wow. All right. Okay, if Susan would not say anything. Okay, yeah. So let's go back to what we have on Twitter. Adding your Joe Akorede here says blacklist importation. Mommy something, uh, mommy Oloture. I just finished it. Okay, oh, she, you're like right. us too. Okay. <laughs> Still on Facebook, Ayon Jala Munas Ifeolua says, The wrong Missy Me Day. This is Fate Season 2. Yeah. Okay. Is that the Nigerian movie? I don't even know. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, wow. We have actually been talking about so many things. Even when we went on break, we were talking about so many things. We were talking about, you know, the movies that we discussed with you that we watched. But then we would come back after this break to take the messages we have on Facebook. Stay here with us. I'm blinded by you. That's one of my favorite mm -hmm. weekends. The weekend. Yeah, there are, there are lots. There are a lot of there are favorite weekends. So that's just mm -hmm. one of the latest. Shows. The one I like is the one in Fifty Shades of Grey. You may. Why do you like the one in Fifty Shades of Grey? Sorry, oh. uh, I just said I just like this. So that's... when weren't you speaking up? I was just wondering. Oh, I like the what's the title of that song? I don't know. Okay, Leave you will not know. I heard the weekend. Leave song. me. We have Abimbola <laughs> on the line. Hello, Abimbola. <laughs> Hello, Arika. Oh. Hi, Abimbala. How are you doing? I'm fine. I love your phone. Uh, your show so much. Oh, oh. thank you. Are you crying? Are you tearing? Oh, you're not tearing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah. tell me, what movie did you recently watch? Or which one are you currently watching? Movie and TV series? I just actually finished one movie. The name of the movie is The Tall Girl. I finished it yesterday. It's just... Yeah, the Corridor, you said? The Tall Girl. The Tall Girl. Yes. Oh, What's this movie I about? Think, I think. Uh, the movie is about a very an extremely tall girl. She's taller than all her peers. And she was in high school, just 16 years old, and she was like double the size of every other person in the class. Okay. Like, talking about I like, she felt uncomfortable. She had no confidence in herself and things like that. I, 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 I don't know the movie because I could see myself in it and something like that. Just, oh. Hmm. Okay. How would you rate this movie? Um, Over 10. <laughs> Probably seven because of the ending. I feel like about seven years. I'm waiting seven. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll actually look at it because I saw it when I was looking for DC. So I would actually watch it today, mm. and yeah. I'll see if you if you are being fair with your rating. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling, Abi Bola. <laughs> Okay. Yes, we're still talking about movies, movies. we're currently watching, and we were having a conversation about since me and Onipot watched the same movie, mm. it was a back and forth. This one did not, this so, one, yes, this so one, this one. About, and we're talking about the parts, uh, people well, um, killed it. We we're talking about Ofai Father's part, uh, you know, and then how <laughs> she was hanging out, like, as an. Oh, look. It's called mm -hmm. method acting. Okay. You get into character. Yeah, she really got into that character. She got into that character. I showed you that political, um, that politician's party, party and yeah. stuff. Yeah, you know, thing. she got it, but we're not going to still spoil it for people. But let me tell you something. Do you know that Amanda and I, in fact, entertainment people, we went to watch a movie together. Tenet. Tenet. Yeah. And that movie, I know, we now finished. They now asked me, wait, how was the movie? Um, uh, I don't know what to say. I was not asking myself, you know, how a movie would have gabbary your head that at the end of the day, you're racking your brain and you're telling yourself, wait, I bet I don't go to school. I bet I don't know. I bet what's wrong with me. I bet mean, I have mental illness that I cannot even understand it's what they're doing. It's Christopher Nolan. Any movie it does. So I now got to know that it was like that for everybody. Yeah. And one more thing. Let's pick this call and then I'll tell you that one thing. <laughs> hello? Larry. Hello. Oh, hello. Good to have you here. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? We are very well, thank you. All right, so what mo movie did you watch or are you watching? What? Well, it's low budget. Low <laughs> budget. Is and, uh, Bam Bam with Teddy A. Oh. It's a one movie with Bam Bam and Teddy uh... Low budget. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a very lovely movie. It's about a lady that wants to get to wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, she's planning like an elaborate wedding, like planning for millions of money to purchase for the wedding and uh, the fiance was like, ah, what kind of thing is this? <laughs> and uh, he got angry and that was the day they went to a wedding planner and uh, 
saying the girl proposing a lot of things she has in mind. The guy was like, wow, mm. it is fortune here. And the guy stepped out of the what, uh, <laughs> the planner plate. So how will you rate it? Oh, wow. Oh, wow we, we lost, lost the call. A movie that has <laughs> steady and bam, bam, yeah. We'll check it out. Low but, budget. But guess what? Let me quickly tell you something. Do you know that that was how we got into the cinema? Hmm. Hmm. And saying, Amanda sat down and broke the chair. Ah, on that note, guys, <laughs> we're done with what are we currently watching. We need to go and find out if Amanda is all right. Oh, Amanda is all right. Is all right. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is where are they now? Take a look to find out which actor we're talking about today. Stay here with us. <laughs> It's Where Are They Now? Elizabeth Benson. Elizabeth Benson, properly known as Liz Benson, is an Nigerian actress and television personality. The actress began acting at the tender age of five, but became popular in 1993 after featuring in the soap opera Fortunes, where she played the role of Mrs. Agnes Johnson, followed by the Nollywood classic Glamour Girls, which placed her on the fast track to fame. Liz Benson has acted in a number of Nollywood films, including Evil Men, Shame, I hope you're not leaving for the farm now. Burden, mm. Here is Kula. Thank you. Faces, Dead End, Tycoon, and Body of Vengeance, amongst many others. Those who call themselves men. To the surprise of her many fans, Liz decided to take a break from acting in 1996, but soon returned to her acting passion a few years later. Some of her most recent movie features include Children of God, Dry, Hilarious Hillary, Jairus Mummy, and 2017 blockbuster movie Lotana, where she played the role of Effia. Liz Benson is now an evangelist and has decided to only take roles in line with her faith. Go back to Portacos. Have you dropped football in this house? Now you know where they are now. When they bring the park, don't... Liz Benson. Liz Benson. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. How many people actually had a crush on Liz Benson? Ah. I think everybody. Everybody, right? Everybody. Both female and... Um, she uh, used to kill it as, you know, that sugar mummy and also as the wicked stepmother. Wicked so, mother. hey, guy. <laughs> Did they even stereotype her? Like, no, I'm no. not talking, talking about typecast. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, you know, people saying stuff about her, like they say about patients no, and no, all no, that. No, no, I don't no, think no, so. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, guys, we have to go. What? I'm just on this, saying. On this same show? Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, you know what? To stay happy and share Gemma for men. You know what? I've done this with King OJ and Ari dimples you take care of yourself like it started raining early this morning and people i don't know what the weather is like outside now but then be careful <laughs> family planning is very important so you can just take some tea and just uh, get yourself on the juve i'm just okay. saying my name is honey pot we'll catch you tomorrow all right all right be good take care of yourself and be at peace with all men we love you Kilo <laughs> shame Bye guys, we love you. We don't know about our behavior, we'll see you tomorrow.